Hey guys, I'm Chris Young and you're watching Billboard. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave. I just had that one drink and we've all gotta be up early. The one cool thing about AM was when we went into the studio to start like finding songs even. I didn't feel like there was a lot of pressure. I was just excited more for this one than anything. And, and I feel the same way about actually it being out. Like I, this is as excited as I've been about a record being dropped since my first album, you know? It's, it's just so much cool music that I wanted people to hear and it's a little bit of a different sound for me. So the biggest thing for, for this record that I wanted to get across was just really the, you know, the aspect of my live show that I felt like we hadn't put at radio a lot, which was just the up-tempo songs. There's a lot more up-tempo on this one than, than anything we've done. All in all, when we started writing this song, I was like, Man, there's, there's no way we're going to take this title and do anything with it. It was uh, one of my co-writers' idea to, to write this, Ashley Gorley. We got a really cool groove going with it, and it's kind of that song that's like, I just went out for one, and then I ended up having one too many. From the get-go, the groove, anybody that heard it was into it by the top, the chorus. And, and so we ended up you know, making it the first single off the, off the record, as well as the lead track. I hold you to it. it's really more um, what I would call a mid-tempo and that's usually where I try to have some sort of cool pocket or groove on a song. I think we definitely found that with this one. You know, it's it's that, that whole image of uh, I just want to dance with you uh, kind of song, but just finding a unique way to turn the phrase at the end of the chorus and then, like I said, having a cool pocket and a cool beat to go with it. Lonely Eyes to me is like a country song wanting to be like an, an, an 80s rock song a little bit in the chorus. And my buddy wrote this and I was so jealous because I was coming down the hallway to write with him the day after he wrote it. Overheard him kind of mumbling through the chorus and walked in and was like, dude, please tell me we're writing this today. And he's like, no, I wrote this yesterday. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna get anything done with you today now because I'm jealous of what you did yesterday, but put it on hold. We ended up cutting it not too too much longer after that. And then hopefully, uh, it's it's gonna really touch chord with people like it did with me. Goodbye is a song that's a little bit different for me, even though it's um, a big ballad, really vocally challenging type of song. I've done those before, but this one's different in that, you know, the beginning of this song really is just piano. And I don't play piano super well. I play enough to get by. This is one of those reasons that it's always great to write with other people. One of the guys I was writing with, this big piano player, came in and was like, what, what about if we just open with this? Just these simple chords over that instead of with a guitar. I think that's part of what makes this song really, really build all the way through. And it's, it's one of my favorite songs on the record. But in the AM, they go from getting buzzed into wasted. AM is, is another party song, a little bit different in that it's it's kind of giving you the image of you know what kind of happens at the beginning of the night and then what happens when you stay a little too late. It's just kind of the juxtaposition of those two things. And this song really I picked for the, the title of the record because you know everybody always says nothing good happens after midnight, but th there's a lot of good stuff that happens after midnight. You just gotta go find it. Don't stay right here till there's nothing but the cooler left. Nothing But The Cooler Left is a straight up summer anthem. That's all this is. We're talking about just having a party and, and everybody, you know, whether it's out on the lake or at a concert or, you know, anywhere else, popping a beer with a friend until there's nothing but the cooler left. So I think a lot of people can relate to that. There's always something going on where you grab a cooler and, and bring it out. And that's that's the, the central point of the party. But who I, am with you. I remember hearing Who I Am With You for the first time. I'd actually sent a message to a buddy of mine that's a publisher in Nashville. I was like, hey, Listen, I need a straight up love song. Like, I don't want this to say anything other than I want to be with you for the rest of my life, that style thing, and I need it to be, you know, really big in the chorus. And he sent me one song and this was it. And I was like, thanks, I'll be cutting it. I was in love with this love song from the very beginning. I think it's just a great, great record and, and I'm glad I got to cut it before somebody else picked it up. Text Me Texas is a little bit different from everything else on the record in that it's primarily just acoustic guitar. Like that's the primary instrument other than the vocals. You know, there's a little bit of percussion, there's a little bit of spattering of electric. It's a pretty minimalistic track compared to some of the other stuff on the album. We did that really because I, I think this is one of the, the really cool, quirky lyrics that are on the record. Whatever's going to get you feeling right, girl, we're on fire. 
find it tonight. We're gonna find it tonight is is one of those songs that's almost anthem esque in the chorus, and it's a pretty simple song. It's saying whatever really gets you going or or, or gets. You know, us in a good mood, we're gonna go find it tonight. It's one that we've played out live a little bit, and the crowd always seems to get into that song. One sleepless night, it dawned on me, the peace I need so Forgiveness is a song that I really loved lyrically because it's just a little left footed, the delivery of the verses and, and the way that it kind of gets around to the the premise of the chorus is, is really, really nice. I just remember thinking, man, I've never written anything like that. I, I really dig that song and made sure that nobody else had a, had a hold of it at the time. and. Took it in the studio and cut it and just love love that that lyric and that track. Ladders in the air, I don't I don't think is uh, exactly what you'd you'd think of it by reading just the title. Do you really pop that song in being kind of a love at first sight kind of song and and kind of a this is the moment that, that makes me think of you and uh, I think it's really unique. There's a lot of pictures in this song as far as like you know, they call it furniture. It's like, what, what are we going to put in the chorus or the verse so that it's not just words? It, it just seemed like the perfect way. You get a song called Lighters in the Air House, would you want to close an album? I really want that to be kind of the go-to um, encore ender. I mean, really, can you get a better, hey, everybody put your, put your phones up, put your ladders up, whatever you've got, put it in the air, and, and this is the last song. But the memories burning.